we started our visit. First, we arrived to Jerusalem from the north. We drive all the way to Mount Scorpius. It was raining. <laughs> But we can see very clear that in the desert, in the East Judea wilderness, there was no rain. Then we drove to Mount of Olives, all the way. The whole mount covered with tombs today. And we have looked toward the West, Temple Mount El Aqsa. So then we drove to the Kidron Valley all the way to Mount Zion. On Mount Zion we park our car, we visited the place of the Last Supper on Mount Zion, then we walk to Zion Gates and we walk into the Jewish quarter till we reach the Cardo. Cardo. We walk in the Cardo and then we bought the mezuzah. Mezuzah. Here. <laughs> well, Nathan, uh, you had the mezuzah held by a Cohen in Jerusalem. And, and uh, explain the significance of Cohen. Cohen, uh, we are uh, descendants of Haram, the brother of Moses. And our, uh, we became Cohen since then to serve the community as a priest. And in your birthday, you are fortunate to have a mezuzah held by a Cohen in Jerusalem. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> unique. <laughs> if you want to plan it, it's very difficult to plan. And, and uh, discussion briefly of the rabbi that blessed it? Well, Ezra gave a bless, and he was the, he's a scribe. He's a rabbi and a scribe. He wrote it in his own hands. And uh, even it was checked, uh, checked and rechecked again for hundreds of times. Before handing us the scroll inside the mezuzah, he checked it. And uh, he um, put it inside. And uh, the mezuzah, uh, made of uh, natural uh, leather, and buried the name of God in front, and a blessing inside. Both are in the box, silver box, that you put on the door, always in the letter on up, on the third part, uh, part up. A little bit bended, not straight. Not does, it bend, does it bend in or out? You have to bend like to the right. To the right. Uh. Because God will be always on your right. We walk from the cargo down all the way to the Holy Sepulchre Church. The most important place for the Christian people in the world. The Holy Sepulchre Church. The burial church place, the burial place of Jesus together with four stations of the Via de Luz that are part of the church itself. And we're going to go and visit it and we're going to go in footsteps of the Via de Rosa. The building that we are looking at was built in the 4th century by uh, uh, started by Queen Ellen, the mother of Constant uh, Constantinus but it was destroyed and rebuilt later by the Crusaders and the building that we are in front looking at is built on top of the Byzantine church. You can see on the lower layers, the ancient building, that on top of it you can see that the Crusaders built their church. We climbed and we entered to the Holy Sepulchre here. Before we have had in the Pumos and Falafel in this area, Yes? Humus. Then in the Holy Sepulchre Church, we visited the whole Holy Sepulchre Church. Then we climbed to the Ethiopian Church. And we go down into the Via Dolorosa. 
Rio de la Rosa, here. Then we came and turned, this is the fifth station, we turned. And we walk all the way, and we enter here. We walk down, and pray to God. This is the genuine stones put here, 2,000 years ago. We are standing on top of 20 meter wall. So it goes down so much 20 meters further. So you're looking on 45 to 50 meter high. Well, here? Yes. 40 meters almost. And it was around, there is a deep, steep valley. And the whole Jerusalem was in the, in the hill over there. So the whole structure of the Temple Mount was isolated from the surrounding near area. It was very impressive. And to the east, there, to the west, north, southwest, or northwest, you see the Galgata. Outside of the city. Mm -hmm. We touched the wall and we walked inside here facing facing the Dome of the Rock. This is the uh, interior which is facing the spot of the Holy of Holies and it's underneath the uh, Dome of the Rock. Then we come outside, we climb here, we go all the way to this area, we climb back here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. We are uh, standing now on the southwest corner of the Temple Mount, looking on the southwest corner of the Temple Mount. To the right side we can see the archaeology garden with the two Omayan palaces built out of from or built from the stones that uh, was felling or pushed down from the western wall by the Roman. The western wall we can see people praying and on top of them this is the Dome of the Rock, the golden dome plated with gold, covered with gold and uh, this is a, a place where actually the Temple Mount at the temple of uh, Salama stood. So that's the spot of the t temple of Solomon. Now, when the we were located, yeah, the let me just point out yeah. right here. Um, when we a few minutes ago, we were underneath here, underneath inside the, that inside. We walk inside where the people coming and going outside in this arches entrance. And we walked inside for 25 meters and stood exactly in front of the Temple Mount. In uh, front of the Temple, sorry. Remember that ancient time, uh, the Temple of Solomon stood exactly where today is the Dome of the Rock is standing. And the rock is the spot where uh, Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac. That's right. The whole mount called Mount Moria. And this is the place mentioned in the in Genesis, the book of Genesis, as the place where God try uh, experience, uh, ex try uh, Abraham by telling him go and sacrifice your only son Isaac. Yes. And we go through the Jewish quarter. Still we like. Stand here.